Hi, this is Jason with ECG Solar, and I wanted to circle back on the issue that I was having with um, an aftermarket relay uh, for my inside cargo lights. Um, I added some aftermarket cargo lights uh, using the uh, OEM cargo lights as a switch leg and was getting some uh, buzzing through the uh, relay. Um, and then, of course, this relay controls the inside lights and then the um, uh, the two lights on each side of the truck to give ambient light for the sides. So I finally got that resolved. I just want to show you what the results are on that. I've already fixed the issue, but I can um, definitely show the uh, what it was doing before. So obviously uh, they are working. Uh, so uh, when you open up the door or push the switch in the back of the truck or in the front of the truck, um, then the outside lights come on and then the aftermarket lights here so as you can see quite brighter in here and then I'll be able to show you what it looks like without them not working because I'm gonna uh, undo my fix so you can uh, uh, see and hear what that's all about so anyways so in this case and I am going to change my camera and get my light turned on so you can see it's a little dark down here I'm gonna put this down. So there is the relay that is controlling my lights. And basically what ended up doing was is installing this capacitor here between the line side, which would be the um, battery voltage, um, and then the load side, which is the lights here. And then that made it quiet, as you can hear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to reach in here and I'll just undo this, pull this capacitor out, plug it back in, and um, yeah, you get the noise. I'm going to unplug it just so you can see the difference. In the aftermarket lights so this is just the OEM lighting in here it's okay but I mean it's more of a romantic mood more than anything else so big difference I mean you could have just hooked up to a manual switch but I like having it just set up with the the factory switch so that it's pretty much all automated so anyways, I'm just going to reach back down here and get this hooked back up again. There we go. So now I'm uh, good to go again. Now what's going on here is the... Uh, since these are LED lights, uh, you basically uh, have pulse width modulation going on, which is just a method to control voltage for dimmable lights. Um, and what's going on is that, you know, whatever that frequency is, if it's turning on and off so many times per second, um, you're basically hearing that in the relay because the relay is basically turning on and off. And this capacitor basically eliminates that issue um it's like a really low cost uh fix to do that and um i think i got like 15 amps uh although it's a 40 amp relay i think i only got 15 amps drawing on that but um the Let's see where to go This is the capacitor. Where is it at? There it is. So 470 microfarads and it was 35 volts and that seems to have uh, done the uh, trick. This was a spare one that I had set up. Basically this is how I got it wired up between line and load side there. Um, I didn't solder them on. I just stuck them through the holes and then by the time you push the spade down it basically kind of sandwiches it in there. Seems to be working okay. 
So anyways, um, that was my fix for a buzzing relay for an aftermarket LED light setup. I'm sure you're hooking up some other kind of LED lights. Um, it could be a similar issue and a similar fix. Uh, so hopefully you learned a little something and uh, make your life go a little bit easier on your next install. Thanks. Bye.